well, the YouTube True Crime Tales and everything else. Um, down here, as you can see, at the leather chest, made me another patch. Um, and this was for a good friend of mine. Uh, call him the Almighty K, Chris Kittlewack. Um Mind you, this is the person in 1986 that came up to me and said, Yo, you got any friends? As I was standing at the bus stop for the first time, going to the Fitchburg Public School of B.F. Brown. And, um, <laughs> you know, I was like, No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you know, sitting there, you know, coming up with a liner and some jokes or whatnot to think of as soon as, you know, this kid came up to me, standing about 5'11", almost six foot, sitting there asking me if I got any friends. You know, at first, yeah, I thought there was going to be some kind of rumble or a fight or, hey, you got any friends? Pop right in your face, so now you don't, you still don't got no friends. But, nope, he came up and said, do you have any friends? I said, no, and he said, well, now you do. I'm like, oh, shit, <laughs> nice. What a way to make a first impression, to make a friendship. Cool as shit this guy is, man. One of the coolest cats I know. And lately I've been going on Facebook to try and sell things. Um, try to, you know, <laughs> get work or whatnot with my leather patches as it is. Of course, nothing's happening. Selling stuff's are ridiculous. But coming across his kids posting everything and, you know, I try to stay as close as possible to my, you know, good friends that I haven't talked to and, you know, only on Facebook or I have seen him out every so often, you know. You know, I try and call him on the phone, but most of the time he don't answer. <laughs> but, um, whatever, you know. I try and do, and every time I look at his page, I see this thing that comes up he posts all the time, Case Place. I'm like, yeah, K's Pilot Place. And I'm looking at his thing. And not only is this kid a Bruins fan, but he's also a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. So you want to talk about a divided New England kid. <laughs> so I went beyond my uh, mind and imagination and threw this together. And due to the fact that I got new leather and trying to use this friggin' tool on it, not knowing. And it was about a wonder why my father bought thicker leather for the um, patchwork and stuff. But I, I tried to get a, a thinner, you know, layer of leather. And this is thinner than what my father used to buy. But, it, well, I gotta be careful now when I use the damn crap because... When you use this carving tool to do the, um, you know, the 3D graphics of trimming, I gotta go lighter with that, and I gotta use, uh, what have I got here? I gotta use this damn thing. I'm glad I have it. No, that ain't it. Let me hold my tool. It ain't around here somewhere. Bear with me. Oh, there it is. Whoop. This thing. It's also another trimmer. The 3D your graphic in the lines. So it looks like I need a little shaving there. You know, cut me where I didn't notice that. The thing you see in the camera. Woohoo! But this, you know, thickens the lines of the trace that you put on it. Of course, one thing happened, or a couple things happened. This friggin' thing, when I cut into the leather, this was supposed to be, you know, a little bit higher up. But it looked good there. But when I got it on the leather and friggin' I used that to trim it down, it screwed it all up and made it not... This area is supposed to be, you know, got more space in it. Of course, that screwed up on me. And the little stars were... Oh, these are difficult to do. But I got them and I did one and I traced it, like, all around. But when I cut the thing in there, that came out crooked. But... Other than that, revealing this, and if you look at the 3D dimensionals of the damn thing and the paint on it now, this is what we have. You can see the little butts and, you know, yeah, stupid things. And But between being a Bruins fan, a Steelers fan, 
I collaborated it pew, right into one another. Um, of course, the Steelers has this gray, and it is white and says Steelers, but you know what? This is Kay's place. Got a little bit of the Bruins and the Steelers in there. I did get to see how this... Now, see this? This is a perfect example about that thing. I did that thing with that cutting tool and the wideness of the um, thing happened because this leather is thinner. It kind of screwed me up trying to get my lines straight, but Jesus freaking Christ. And then I tried, you know, cutting it the best I could and getting in there and... But that's what that thing did. It screwed me up over here, you know, but everything is practice. Everything is whatever, but if you just sit there and stare at it, <laughs> don't look at everything else, and you stand at the details, it looks pretty freaking awesome. I even had to throw my little logo man in there, the Ace of Spades. Like I say, to me, the Ace of Spades is a true tradition of uh, not only being a Lemmy motorhead song but something about it man and judas priest got my ace card on the rocks it brings out the you know the metal brings out the um awesomeness i think of a person this is kind of a logo i'm gonna be using to put in with all my stuff meaning my work and so forth but like I say, right off the bat, out of my head, you know, everything's a little, but, hey, you can't always be perfect, even though I try to be, but when you got certain tools you use and not know the outcome and then you start doing this, it's like, what the hell happened there? And then you're like, you can't go about using another tool because that will screw it up and whatever and make it look thinner and so I had to do that with that and do the rest of this with the lining with the other thing but eh whatever you know what I think this looks pretty damn awesome to me yeah Kay's place but um eh, whenever he's ready to I don't know when he'll pick it up or when I can drop it off to him but hey you know that's right. But another piece of work I did. Imaginary through the brain. This is what came out. Leather work by Arch. Wish I could have done a little bit more to it and got it a little straighter, but hey, what can you do? Goddamn lining and stuff is just burr. And then when you actually, when you do do this part, <laughs> that even makes it tougher because you're trying to hold it, trim it, and right, as you can see, everything don't line up because when you cut it and stuff, you know, you know, just goes the opposite way. It's like you're fucking jerk and whatever. But hey, can't go wrong. He likes it. I'm thinking it's badass. I like it. Can even punch holes around it, put it as a patch, throw that on a jacket, a vest, or a leather jacket. Look at that. Woohoo! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. But I had to show this, anyways. Another artistic thing I did with leather. Till the next video, be safe, take care, and always beware. Always believe. And always get your patches made by me. <laughs> Hopefully. If not, well, hey, it's nice knowing you. Thanks anyways.